Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 12th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at our Skycam imagery this morning. Kind of a gray morning with some dampness. Uh, most places getting just a very little amount of rain, but certainly an interesting shot at Mount Chiha. And then a look at what appear to be some wet streets at Jasper. There's a surface low along a cold front that continues to stretch from the Great Lakes down across the Ohio River Valley and into Texas. And uh, of course, that hasn't changed a great deal over the last several days with an upper level system that continues to stay off to our west with a nice southwesterly flow tapping into moisture out of the Pacific and bringing that moisture in across Mexico and the northwestern Gulf into the southeastern U.S. And that has kept us cloudy and rainy for the last several days. And it looks like we're going to have those conditions for a few more days. Temperatures across the eastern half of the country have become downright tropical, it seems like. I mean, my goodness, 52 at 5 a.m. in Chicago? Jeez. On a January morning, that's just unheard of. Across the southeastern U.S., temperatures across central Alabama in the 60s, the mid and upper 60s. Holy mackerel. Those are on the order of about anywhere from 10 to 14 degrees above the average highs for this time of year. Just phenomenal warmth going on across the area. We're still dealing with the number of showers. Uh, again, most of those to our northwest and west, but we're still seeing a few showers in our area. Um, a conglomeration of various and sundry watches, warnings, and advisories in effect across the country. Uh, the kind of uh, the deeper green, grayish color are uh, dense fog advisories. The green, just to our northwest, are flash flood watches. The purples and reds have to do with winter weather. So. Uh, again, a hodgepodge going on across the country. And we're looking at on the order of another one and a half to two and a half inches of rain across the southeastern U.S. over the next five days. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk area for severe storms for day one, none for day two or day three. Uh, they're uh, looking at an area from about Dyersburg, Tennessee, across uh, Little Rock down into the Shreveport area. So encompassing a nice chunk of Arkansas and a little bit of uh, each of the surrounding states. All right, the 060 GFS model run. There's our upper air pattern. And, of course, we're still watching that deep trough that's off to the west. And we're in that nice southwesterly flow, keeping us warm and moist. Uh, and as a result, of course, the frontal system kind of stalled out because there's just nothing to push that front uh, any further to the uh, south or southeast, at least yet. But that's coming. We're watching little pieces of energy come out. You see one coming across the Red River Valley there and uh, still much of the energy back in the, tr in the trough itself. So uh, this is for uh, Sunday. And you can see that uh, the front can... Uh, continues to approach, staying just off to our west with a series of little uh, surface lows that kind of ripple up that that particular front. And the European in pretty good agreement with the positions of everything. Uh, but once again, we're going to stay cloudy and somewhat wet. All right, when we get out to uh, Monday, uh, not much change in the upper atmosphere. We're still dealing with that big uh, trough off to our west. So while things move a little closer and we're going to cool down here because the the flow has, uh, while we still have a southwesterly flow, the front, the surface front seems to be getting in a little bit closer. And then by uh, Tuesday, uh, the, everything is now, that trough to the west is now beginning to come out. Uh, so we can see that it's ejecting across the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. And so that means that the front should edge uh, even further, which means it's going to get out of Arkansas and at least, you know, get into Alabama, the edges of it, and the European in pretty good agreement with that kind of thinking. Finally, on Wednesday, it looks like the trough comes by. So the trough axis comes by, which means then we should 
at least be seeing some clearing as the front uh, generally moves off into the southeastern coastal area of the U.S. And uh, that ends all of the southwesterly flow. But of course, that means that our temperatures will get back to more seasonal values, which are going to seem extremely cold because we've been, you know, nearly 20 degrees above where we typically are. By Thursday, that uh, trough is over the east coast, and we have definitely flipped to a northwesterly flow, not a particularly sharp northwesterly flow, but one that certainly will bring us much cooler air with a surface high now positioned over northeast Texas. We stay under that surface high as it migrates eastward on uh, Friday. And then into Saturday, a week from today, we see that we continue to have more or less a, a long wave trough position that is over the eastern half of the country. And we also see that we've got little pieces of energy moving through the flow, little vorticity centers. And the bottom line is that essentially that would suggest that we'll see some clouds with a surface low uh, up over the uh, uh, Lake Michigan in the vicinity of Chicago, but we should be dry according to the GFS. Now, this is where uh, model confidence begins to, uh, or forecast confidence begins to drop out because if you look at the European, the European is suggesting that there'll be a um, surface low down in the Gulf, and that would mean, uh, and, and over South Alabama, and that would mean that a we would be having a wet day for uh, Friday and into Saturday. So again, some significant model differences as James was talking about yesterday. Now looking out into voodoo country, I think the screaming message that we have uh, is that we will have a long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. So we will stay in a rather cool pattern. That trough sharpens up significantly. So maybe a shot at some colder air uh, around Tuesday, the 22nd of January. And then finally, uh, we see another uh, wet system, but we've progressed from a trough into a ridge pattern over the eastern half of the country. So at least by uh, the 27th of January, it looks like another wet pattern. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for today. I expect to have the next one posted first thing in the morning on Sunday. I hope that your day today is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.